Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Both and Thinking, a creation by Wendy K. Smith, Marianne W. Lewis. Both and Thinking, 2022, presents a fresh approach to decision-making. With an either-or perspective, the world seems filled with intricate choices and challenging trade-offs. However, by embracing a both-and mindset, you can turn demanding decisions into fruitful possibilities without the need for sacrifices. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Wendy Smith, a professor of management at the University of Delaware, and Marianne Lewis, the dean of the Lindner School of Business at the University of Cincinnati, are esteemed experts in the field of organizational paradox. They have dedicated their research to understanding how brands, corporations, and governments can skillfully navigate conflicting situations. With two key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On StoryPlane.net To start, the text implies that the speaker is looking for personal benefits and wanting to enjoy the best of both worlds. Contemporary life is filled with conflicting choices, such as professional success versus personal life, creative integrity versus commercial viability, and individual satisfaction versus communal well-being. Our brains tend to view these choices as dilemmas, where one option must be chosen over the other. However, by embracing the paradoxes and tensions within these choices, we can actually find productivity and success. Key idea number one, training. A both and mindset involves employing simple techniques. These techniques can help individuals develop the ability to see and accept multiple perspectives, embrace complexity, and find creative solutions. Building empathy, reframing situations, practicing open-mindedness, and engaging in active listening are some effective methods to cultivate a both and mindset. By adopting this approach, individuals can enhance their problem-solving skills, foster collaboration, and improve their ability to navigate complex situations. There are two methods for approaching paradox, the way of the mule and the way of the tightrope walker. The mule approach involves finding a way to integrate opposing elements of a paradox to create a win-win situation. The tightrope walker approach involves dispersing attention across competing priorities to maintain equilibrium. When embracing a paradox mindset, it is important to challenge assumptions, set boundaries, accept discomfort, and embrace dynamism through constant improvement and feedback. Key idea number two. Market-leading organizations understand and embrace paradox as a way to navigate complex and uncertain business environments. They recognize that success often lies in navigating contradictory ideas and finding creative solutions that balance multiple perspectives. By embracing paradox, these organizations can adapt quickly and stay ahead of the competition. Multinational consumer goods firm Unilever was on the verge of bankruptcy when CEO Paul Polman introduced a both-and mindset. Instead of just focusing on surviving, Polman wondered if Unilever could positively affect global challenges while also being profitable. This led to the Unilever Sustainable Living Plan, which aimed to save the planet while also benefiting the firm. Unilever set goals to decrease waste and resource use, work with sustainable materials, and double profits. These goals created tensions but also sparked innovation and partnerships. Through this mindset, Unilever turned its challenges into positive energy, driving profits and making a positive impact on the planet. In conclusion, serendipity is when a random event leads to a positive outcome. Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin was a result of serendipity. It involves recognizing the potential in unexpected situations and training yourself to engage with them. Embracing serendipity can lead to more opportunities and positive experiences. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.